Halo Infinite, Memory Agent, Part 5. Hey Oliver, how long am I going to have to wait? I've been sitting here for half an hour, waiting for you to convince me to turn around to stay on course and complete the mission. You already know this detour is in direct opposition to our mission parameters. You've made the decision to abort and acted upon it. I do not believe I could change your mind. It's almost worse that Oliver isn't giving me a hard time about bailing. The truth is, he probably could change my mind. How about we just get on the comms right now and tell them I'm AWOL? Let's just get it over with. Mission parameters dictate radio silence until your memory expires. Or you expire. Honestly, I'd like to get my hands on whatever stuffed shirt bureaucrat conscripted me into this ridiculous position. But, Lieutenant, you volunteered. What? I explain, Oliver! I do not have any further details. Perhaps there was something you wanted to get away from? Is he trying to offer me clues within the confines of his programming? Or is he just trying to wear me down? How many hours until we return to a UNSC-controlled sector and I can turn myself in? Roughly the same length of time it took to get here, not including our detour at the gaseous planet. Approximately 5 hours and 23 minutes. I know bailing won't come without... some fallout. I'll take my lumps. I do feel bad for whichever future version of me ends up paying the price for my desertion, though. Who knows how many generations removed from this version of me will be the one to get court-martialed. Oh, well, I bet there's nothing about being court-martialed in the Master Chief Archives, huh? Accessing- No, no, I wasn't being serious. Playing testimony from Colin McGinnis Private First Class, UNSC Court Martial Proceedings. Private McGinnis, I must remind you that you do not have to make this statement. You've entered a not guilty plea to assaulting the superior officer, Colonel Rochambeau. Mm. And by the military justice code, you cannot be forced to incriminate yourself. I want this on the record. In my own words. All right, Private, if you insist. Look, I didn't plan on decking the Colonel that day. I had planned on deserting. I tried to tough out my tour, but that morning, on the outskirts of Voy, I just plain had enough. I was... I was trying to come up with how to get medicaled out of the core. An, an errant shot would take off some fingers, step off a second story of some bombed out building and break a leg. I'm done! But then... The flood came. They crashed an infested Covenant ship into a Traxxas building near where my battalion was deployed. And fighting the Coveys? Even the worst of it just couldn't prepare me for what came next. The flood started taking over the corpses. Human. Covenant. It didn't matter. Then their spores came for the living. They hit my platoon. We've all read the reports. If that's all you've seen, you don't know a damn thing. Here, I brought my helmet recording. I'm just gonna... Turn that off. I've heard enough. It's not easy to listen to, huh? Yeah. My buddies would come wobbling towards me, reaching out, looking like they needed help. And you know what? They did. They really did need help. I lost it. I panicked. I, I, I scrambled over a key rail and made a beeline for a warthog destination anywhere but here. I, I, I know I left them. I, I left my own squad mates to the flood. I, I should have stayed and fought. But I was long gone before I could even breathe. I had to slow down to squeeze between a makeshift barricade. But I wasn't alone on the other side. 
He steps into the road right in front of me. He puts his hand on the front end of the hog and <laughs> nearly stops it himself. Jesus, man. Then the master chief just says to me, you're going the wrong way and I need a ride. The last thing I wanted was to go back to the fight, back to where the flood were, but you don't tell the master chief no. As I'm driving him back to the front lines, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, at least he didn't say anything about me deserting. The chief doesn't know I'm a coward. All right. As we pulled into the combat zone, the chief said, mistakes happen, but they don't have to stay mistakes. Not while you have a chance to make things right. Then, stay low and watch my back. And he launched into the flood as if he was shot out of a cannon. Together, we fought like demons, man. I mean it. I, I, I wish you could have seen us. <laughs> man. Uh, uh, after we mopped up the last of them, the chief told me to reconnect with my unit, any unit that was still left, and he ran off to the next firefight. So, when I, I finally found the command post and Colonel Broken Nose kept talking about the chief like he was a tank or a, a dropship, just some piece of hardware owned by the UNSC, I let him know the chief was a person. And now, my friend, speaking the international language of the knuckle sandwich. Private, you've now admitted twice to committing the very actions you've pled not guilty to. Do you want to explain that? I'm not denying what I did. This just seemed like the easiest way for you to agree with me and drop this joke of a charge because it would be a waste to lock me up in the brig when I could do a hell of a lot more good getting back into the fight. <sighs> Son of a bitch. How long would it take to get to the rendezvous if we turned back now? 57 minutes, Lieutenant. How long until my memory resets? It will be a new record if you can make it longer than 43 minutes. However, I should let you know this detour has increased the risk factors. If we resume course to our rendezvous, there would be a 71% chance of encountering enemy squadrons. Most certainly now aware we did not burn up in the atmosphere of the gas giant. So, really, what's the point? Curious? It's an alert from a UNSC vessel at the rendezvous location on an open channel. Did the Master Chief just broadcast his position for anyone to see? It appears he did. Why would he do that? They don't have to stay mistakes. Oliver, resume course to the rendezvous. Actually, I'll take the helm. Th there has to be a reason the Master Chief did that. It could be a trap. <sighs> it could. I should remind you. Time is running short on your memory cycle. It is. We might not make it in time. Oliver, I I'm going to give you the encryption key in case I You reset. cannot do that. There are cold protocol safeguards in place that will corrupt my program and destroy the ship if you try to impart the intelligence to me. You must try to hold on. Yet another piece of the puzzle. This intel is a time bomb if it leaves my mouth. It's been almost an hour of silence. Is Oliver nervous? I still have the code memorized. But every time I think about it, check on it, it feels like trying to remember a dream. The more you try, the less you remember. The stream, the moon, and the wind. No. Not now. Focus on the code. Focus on... What time is it? I can't keep my eyes open. Maybe if I just rest them for a few moments. Something has intercepted our shuttle. We are being boarded. I advise you to take your sight off. What am 
I supposed to do with this pistol? Prepare to use it. The intruder has breached the airlock. I'm not sure I... Protect yourself, Lieutenant. Now. Stop! Hold your position or I will fire on you! I said stop! Not necessary, Lieutenant. Wait, 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 who, who, who are you? You can call me Master Chief. Who's the Master Chief? Halo Infinite.